Hello, ladies and gentlemen, crypto deep divers. Welcome back to Weekly Crypto. Today, I'm going to talk about the end of 21 million Bitcoin. Also, Coinbase will soon announce its first IPO. According to CNBC crypto trader host Ren, also MasterCard want to patent a fractional reserve uh, cryptocurrency bank. So just in case you are new to the channel, just to uh, remind everybody that um, EOSBET uh, platform, they give out uh, dividends. In order to get EOSBET token, you have to log in with your scatter wallet and also you have to play the game, roll the dice. So right now they already have, uh, you can claim your dividends. So you can go to, uh, once you log in with your scatter wallet, you go to dividends, you can claim your dividends. And bet token holders, uh, they grant you the instant uh, dividend payout based on the house profit. So 100% of the house profit is going to distribute to the bet token holder. And so basically the more bet, uh, the more bet you have, the more yours you're going to get. So currently they are airdropping a uh, bet token at a rate of 20 to one. And this means that for every 20 yours wager, you, you're going to receive one bet token. So this uh, token will grant you dividends for life and this is a fixed supply of the token which is 88 million so basically <clears throat> this is like a passive income it's a um, as long as you have a bad eos bad token bad token you're going to get all this uh profit sharing uh the house profit to be distributed uh to the token holder so you can check it out also higher vibes is having an uh, airdrop snapshot november 4th airdrop day will be november 5th so make sure you transfer your token out of the exchange to your yields account to qualify also bad dice is having an airdrop uh, the lucky draw is uh, every one hour and i think some of the viewers are telling me uh, it's on the right side i think they changed the interface a little bit so you can do um, lottery or you can do lucky draw lucky draw is free and also make sure you go to payout and basically those payout is settled every hour based on how many tokens you stake uh, you stick to the uh, pool so the portion of the payout will be credited to your balance and then you have to claim it so you can stake your token so i stake all my token uh, in here and then you can go to balance and then you can claim your token so make sure you go to your claim your token. Once you claim your token, it will automatically go to your EOS account. And also Cat EOS is having an airdrop on December 1st. Uh, no, I think snapshot December 1st. And airdrop is December 20th. So make sure you transfer your EOS out of the exchange to your EOS account. So before we get into that, uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out the upcoming airdrop giveaway, half for or ICO. Also, you can follow me on Twitter as well. So let's get into it. And um, so basically, Super Crypto, he, um, he called for 95% correction when Bitcoin was at 20,000. So far, we have 70% uh, correction. The final capitulation is yet to happen. So basically, MasterCard has applied for a patent for a frictional reserve cryptocurrency bank, applica bank application. So... So basically, they do a patent for fractional reserve cryptocurrency. I mean, to me, uh, this is a little bit crazy because people move away from cryptocurrency because of the current uh, fiat currency. That's how they practice. It's like a fractional reserve uh, banking practices. For example, if you deposit 10000 to the bank, the bank only required to have a... Based on this is from FDIC uh, Federal Reserve requirement. So... So FDIC federal uh, reserve uh, for the reserve requirement in the bank is only 2%. Basically, if you deposit 10 grand, the bank only required to have 200 uh, bucks in the, uh, in the system, in the bank. The rest, they can loan out to people as a mortgage or a car loan or a personal loan or a business loan or whatever. So basically, it's just inflated uh, the money supply basically based on this. And if all the people uh, withdraw at, at the same time, the bank do not have that kind of money because the rest, all the money is already 
gone to the mortgage to you know to the business loan or to the car loan or whatever so this is a little bit crazy like they patent the fractional reserve cryptocurrency bank a mastercard so this is a little bit ironic. I mean, people want to move away from uh, fiat currency to cryptocurrency because of the limited supply, right? For example, Bitcoin is twenty only 21 million. You cannot have more than 21 million. And uh, some of the coins, they do have inflation. Ethereum, maybe they have inflation. Litecoin, they do have inflation. But some coin, they don't have inflation. Just like Bitcoin, they only have 21 million. If people lost their computer, those coins will last forever. So it's supposed to be doing that way, you know. <clears throat> so basically, fractional reserve banking, uh, we talk about is some, one of the problems that Bitcoin is trying to solve because of the current fiat currency. Uh, they practice uh, fractional reserve uh, banking and all that. And so bankers have decided to solve the Bitcoin sc uh, scarcity problem by applying a fractional reserve to the cryptocurrency. So if you still um so if you still remember what I talk about rehypothecation and derivatives, those are uh, and commingling, this sounds complicated, right? Basically just increase the paper supply. So they have a limited because of the limited physical supply, but you can uh, for example in gold, silver, bitcoin, cryptocurrency in general, if you do frictional reserve banking, it's like a magical paper copying machine. Uh, this is, of course, is invented by Wall Street and everything is legal, of course, you know. So uh, I talk about rehypothecation, uh, derivatives, commingling uh, in my previous video. And in this video, I talk about uh, Bitcoin uh, potentially can go to 100x because of the, um, the market cap currently uh, compared to derivatives. We are just a tiny, 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 like a dot. Um, compared to the rest of the derivatives, talking about trillion and trillions of dollars, Bitcoin currently is only a hundred, like a hundred, uh, hundred over, I think it's hundred million uh, market cap or something. So, and so I did talk about uh, hypothecation uh, probably in my previous video, let's see. So I talk about rehypothecation and commingling in this video. You can uh, check it out. This video is called uh, "Not All Bitcoin ETF Are Created Eco Because Eco Because All uh, Those Are Based on Futures and They Are Not Backed by Anything. Even Though Back They Backed by They Said They Backed by Bitcoin. But the thing is, They Are Going to Rehypothecate and commingling those assets. That means uh, it's not going to good. It's not going to do any good to the community. So you can also check back this video as well. You can check it out. And uh, I'll also put the link below. So, so basically, uh, fractional reserve banking is a banking system. Only a fraction of the bank deposit are backed by actual cash we talk about on hand and are available for withdrawal. We talk about that the FDIC, the the reserve requirement is only 2%. If you de deposit 10 grand, the bank only required to have 200 bucks in their, uh, in their account. So this is basically done to expand the economy by freeing up capital that can be loaned out to the other, to the other parties. So many U.S. banks were forced to shut down uh, during the Great Depression because too many people, uh, they line up to withdraw their money at the same time. So this is how the big uh, paper Bitcoin will be created. So using the example, uh, the calculation is 500 million multiplied by one divided by 10%, which is 5 million. It should be noted that this is not how the money is actually created. So basically for the fractional reserve cryptocurrency bank will be available to trade legally trade 10 times more than it, uh, the, uh, more Bitcoin than it holds in the reserve 10% uh, requirement. So the thing is, uh, right now it's only 2%. So basically, they can rehypothecate and multiply uh, the Bitcoin to paper Bitcoin to, um, I think, to all the way probably you can go to 100x. I mean, uh, this is pretty sad, you know. So uh, also, they say derivative, derivatives, and once, once more derivatives, Wall Street can create influence supply of Bitcoin. Even if the there exists only one Bitcoin on, on the planet. 
also in John McAfee tweet, uh, John McAfee tweeting about mathematically more than 21 million um, Bitcoin cannot be possibly created. So more than 21 million Bitcoin cannot cannot possibly create uh, John McAfee mathematically. But then, you know, uh, CME will have, uh, so CME, they have cash settlement uh, in a Bitcoin future trading. So they don't have to hold big, they don't, they do not have to hold Bitcoin. All they do is speculating on the contract. Then they settle in fiat currency. And this is essentially create billions of Bitcoin technically. So once future exchange open, uh, Bitcoin is go is not going to remain twenty. So basically, right now we have a future exchange already. So Bitcoin is not going to remain twenty one million. So there will be uh, dumping tons of Bitcoin on the market. So they will be dumping all this Bitcoin. Uh, so why you feel uh, it stay at twenty one million? The crooks do what what uh, crooks do what they do always. So anyway. So this is a very, this is an irony, seriously. So remember when they first introduced future market last year, Bitcoin was bought uh, was from 20,000. It keep on sliding and sliding. Right now it's around 6,200 uh, 6, per Bitcoin. So then the uh, Bitcoin was brought down and now the fun, uh, fractional reserve get in the picture as, more, as volume grows on the future market. And... So they also, uh, so right now they also do a fractional reserve uh, blockchain. So Mastercard is seek seeking a pattern as well. So basically, there will be a lot of people laughing their heads off because of this. But the thing is, there's no laughing matter because they're going to do that. They're going to dilute the value. They're going to dilute the value of Bitcoin. And then fractional reserve banking is one of the problems Bitcoin was trying to solve, right? Now they do it on the cryptocurrency as well. I mean, this is defeat the whole purposes, isn't it? So most of the Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoiners are not fans of the debt-based currency. Bitcoin and most other cryptocurrency are therefore regarded as sound money. So this paper, uh, but. I don't know if this paper Ponzi scheme will end one day, just like the paper, paper gold, uh, paper silver and whatnot and all that. And uh, also they have so much future contracts to speculating on that. And then the future contracts do not hold the actual asset to begin with. They're just speculating. And then they settle in fiat currency. And so basically, the fractional, res uh, fractional reserve will rule and the bank will continue to dilute the uh, Bitcoin supply just like they successfully done with gold and silver for the last eight years. If this is no suppression, the, gold and price, uh, the price of gold and silver will not be at this level, especially, this, especially silver. Silver will not uh, be priced at this level at this time. And I think it's kind of funny, Super Crypto Post, and uh, there's a two bridges. And then this is where the Fed and the banks will find themselves one way. This will end the role for the magic show uh, of, of this, this Ponzi scheme. Paper Ponzi scheme will explode or something. So the bridge has, the bridge has ended somewhere. And then you talk about... Um, waiting for another rally of after the ETF and backer so uh, we can sell high again. Uh, I'm not sure with the backer, the news will really pump Bitcoin. Maybe I could be wrong. Maybe short term, there's a pump. But the thing is, backer, those news is already, we, they have been talking about it already. And also, they get the, uh, they get the Bitcoin through OTC. They don't have to go through the exchange. So maybe the news will uh, bring the Bitcoin uh, uh, at a short term, I mean, will pump the coin, will pump Bitcoin at, uh, at least uh, in a short term. So you can check it out. I mean, this is a little bit. What? Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, do we really uh, the end of 21 million Bitcoin and they're going to rehire profit K and commingling and then doing derivatives on this uh, on the cryptocurrency, what do you think? Do you think this is good to good to the community? 
also um, Coinbase uh, will announce its first IPO. So this is based on the crypto trader, uh, crypto CNBC crypto trader Africa uh, ran. He talked about that. Um, so he talked about the uh, Coinbase is going to launch uh, the IPO, but this is not. I don't know for sure, but this is a lot of rumors. And then the IPO is valued at eight eight billion actually. And currently, Coinbase they have twenty five million accounts, seven million accounts of fiat of cryptocurrency, and also they have six hundred six hundred thousand monthly trading account. And also last quarter they have ninety million in revenue. And Q four twenty seven seventeen. So they have four hundred fifteen million. So they expect to earn all um. 450 million in the last quarter. So 80 uh, percent of 80 percent uh, the revenue source from consumer, 15 percent from Coinbase Pro, which is institutional investor, five percent we don't know. And also, so we'll see whether uh, Coinbase is going to launch its IPO, just like um, Bitmain. Bitmain, uh, the crypto, uh, they the the mining, uh, the one of the biggest uh, mining uh, company for mining Bitcoin, and also they sell a whole bunch of mining equipment. So Bitmain is launching its IPO in uh, Hong Kong Stock Exchange as well. So do you think um, Coinbase is going to launch its uh, IPO? Uh, please comment below. I would like to hear from you. So uh, let me know what you think about this end of 21 million Bitcoin. And do you think it's going to happen just like gold and silver? They're going to suppress the price and everything. And also they're doing a frictional and also what do you think about the frictional reserve cryptocurrency? And also let me know what you think about Coinbase IPO. If you found this video helpful, make sure you smash the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, please share with your friends or make sure you comment below. I would like to hear from you. Also, make sure you subscribe. You don't miss out the upcoming airdrop giveaway half for ICO. So if you sub or, 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 if you have already subscribed, make sure you hit the notification button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter as well. Remember, crypto deep divers, we the people take control of our money. Stay wise, stay safe, peace. I'm not a financial advisor. Investing in ICO or cryptocurrency has inherent risk. Please use a different